who's that oh it's me i <laughs> just shut those styles Hola, como estas? Buenos dias, buenos noches. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Chantel Styles. And if you are a returning subscriber, nice to see you. A what? Again, today's video is an install of this teapot lace honey with these beautiful golden brown blonde highlights. I mean, this wig is serving, serving. I haven't really tried color before, so I'm actually really excited about this install because it kind of had me step out of my comfort zone a little bit. And these highlights are just the perfect honey blonde brown highlights. They're subtle, you know, they don't come too high up. They're just beautiful. Like, honestly, I'm in love. Like, I really am in love. And it's a tea part lace, as mentioned, so it's just this middle section that you're working with for which I'll show you the parting space as we proceed into the video. And then on the sides, you literally get where my finger is to here. Literally a tea part lace, like no faff, no hassle. This is pretty much how the wig looks straight out the box. I did obviously hot comb it and straighten it just to, you know, get a more sleek finish. For the purpose of this video, I did not bleach the knots. Can you imagine? I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I mean, my personal preference would be to bleach the knots, but as instructed for this video, just wanted to give you a good, quick initial review of what you get when you order this wig. So without further ado, let's jump into the next clip. But before we do, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'm just going to be going through a quick unboxing of the wig. So you actually get a pouch with a edge brush, a comb, a wig cap in two different shades and some tweezers. So this is what the wig looks like. I'm just running my hands through the hair. It is very soft, very, very, very soft and quite light, not too thick. Here's a close up of the hairline. So the knots are very small within the center. And then as you approach the sides, they do get a little bit bigger, but they actually did melt very well. Here's just the inside of the wig. It is a teapot wig as mentioned. So this parting space is very small on the sides, but it's very convenient for a pop on and go. So here's a close-up of the wig. I did actually pre-pluck it a little bit. As there isn't much parting space, I could only really pluck the middle. So now I'm just going in with my Renutrients wax stick as per my standard process, smoothing that over the hairline and then going in with my hot comb just to press that out. And here I'm just providing you with a little close-up of the very middle, the center and the sides of the hairline. Also, where you see me drag my comb to is literally all the parting space you get. Now this is the inside of the wig. As I said, the parting space you get is very limited, which makes for a great and easy install. You don't have very much to work with and you also get an area to fasten your adjustable elastic band. So now I've just taken my sleek palette. I'm going in with the darkest shade inside the lace wig and coloring that lace just to help it match my actual skin tone. So as you know, I always go through the full installation process, but as you guys are quite familiar with my techniques, I thought that in this video, I'd try something a little bit different and do an actual product review. <gasps> oh! oh my gosh, that was so painful. Let me know whether you prefer the full installation videos or whether you actually are more interested in these product reviews and whether you'd like me to include the installation process next time and the know-hows and all the tips when it comes to installing. See, this I don't like. I don't like that at all. But other than that, it is really a melty on a glue. I just don't like how it does that. I mean, it looks good. Close up. Okay, so I'm just going to finish straightening the rest of my hair. I 
in order to just really show you guys just how much parting space you get with this wig i actually tried to do a zigzag parting and whoo child when i say the zigzag parting was hard it was not easy and i just wasn't feeling it but i did decide to include it just so you could gauge just how much parting space you actually get I just thought I'd show you a quick close up of the side view of this wig. And now I'm just going in with the lot of body mousse to help shape my baby hairs. Okay. It's actually quite funny because I do not typically like baby hairs, but for some reason I've started warming up to them. I like semi natural ones. And I'm saying semi because in this video, these are not really natural. You know, they're quite exaggerated in my opinion, but I'm starting to warm up to them. I don't know. So I always group my hair in a ponytail just to see how much you get. And there's a decent level of thickness. And now I'm just stroking the hair just to show you exactly the how those tones and highlights flow. Okay, hey, so this is the finished look. What are we thinking? This wig is cutie. And I absolutely love the highlights. I feel like they're just so nice. They're so subtle. A nice combination of honey blonde and brown. You know, they don't start too high up. They're very, very natural looking. Oh no, I think it's a win for me. I just went in and added some baby hair. So, you'll be surprised to know that I actually didn't bleach this wig. For the purpose of this video, I was instructed to just kind of give an initial review on the wig straight out the box, straight out the package, and that's exactly what sis did. So, there's no bleaching of the knots. Personally, for every wig that I buy, I would usually bleach the knots just because I feel like it really does help to conceal those dark knots at the root of the lace but i mean it really doesn't look that bad as you go towards the sides the knots are a little bit thicker they're not as thin as they are in the middle but they're still very natural and light looking i'm actually surprised <laughs> i'm impressed in fact i mean it's a great value wig literally this is how it looks with just a bit of hot combing and straightening straight out the box i was a bit bad i didn't even wash the wig but initially this is what you get. As mentioned, it is a T-part wig. I will actually insert a clip of the zigzag part just to show you exactly how much space you get. And you get quite a good space with it. It's really ideal. I've kind of always wanted a wig that's set in the sense that I just know it's a middle part. I pop it on, no faffing around, don't need to do too much with the sides. And T-part wigs are literally that. This is how to finesse a T-part wig and make it look like a full frontal. Sometimes having all this extra hair, you know, at the size and everything can just can just be a lot of work. Or sometimes when you have um, a full lace wig or a 13 by 4, 13 by 6, which are the wigs that offer more parting space from ear to ear, it's nice to have. But what I find, because I'm so indecisive, is I will reuse the same wig and then keep on changing the part and flipping it from side to middle, side to middle. But it's kind of nice to just have a set wig that you know. This is my middle part wig. This gonna be my side part wig. You know what I mean? As you start to build up the collection, you start to have your set wigs for set styles and it's just easy rather than trying to constantly make new styles with the same wig. There really isn't too much to say about this wig. One thing I will mention though is that the wig was a little bit small. That's probably something you would need to request via checkout with the seller or select when purchasing your unit on the website. I actually didn't disclose my wig cap size, so that was actually my fault. So I ended up having a bit of issues with the hair over there and actually had to leave the lace here to cover my hair. Otherwise, if I had cut that, you would have just seen a little bit of where my hair is. But other than that, I kind of still managed to finish it. It's no biggie. It's, it's still something that, you know, I can live with 
and I can still wear the wig besides that. It straightens very well. I actually curled it and then straightened it back. So to do that was quite impressive because usually when you curl your hair to then straighten it back is a bit of an issue. But this this wig did both. The wig is very soft. It's, li it's a little bit on the shiny side. It's a little bit on the shiny side, but it's still very, very beautiful. Yeah, I really can't say too much about this wig. This is an initial review, so maybe in a couple of weeks time, I might come back and do an update as to how this wig is holding up. The lace came in a medium brown color and it was thin enough, very thin in fact, to melt. I'd like to thank I Define Wigs for sending me this lovely wig. It is in the length of 18 inches. I will link everything in terms of the details, the density, and the exact color, the link as well to purchase this unit in the description box below. If you liked this tutorial, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I stay active in my comments. Tell sis you dropped by, what's goody? <laughs> Hopefully you found this video helpful, insightful, and just a little bit entertaining to watch. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you in my next video.